All right, welcome to this lesson on similar shapes and scale drawings. This is a super priority standard. And that standard, by the way, is right here. We have to solve uh, uh, problems involving scale drawings of geometric figures. We gotta include the actual, computing the actual lengths and areas from the scale drawing. And we're producing a scale drawing for, at a different scale. Okay, lots of stuff. But ultimately what we gotta know is how can you use scale drawings to solve problems? Okay, and you're probably wondering, what's the scale drawing? Well, you're gonna find out. So first, this is all taken from your textbook. And uh, it's on page uh, 237, lesson 8.1. We're diving in here. The scale drawings and scale models are used in map making, okay? And uh, construction and other trades. So this is a blueprint. And the blueprint is uh, a drawing that usually displays architectural plans. And this is Pete's blueprint. Shows a layout of a house. Every four inches in the blueprint represents three feet. So, you know, I'm going to write that down. That's a pretty important piece of information. Four inches corresponds to three feet. Okay. And I'm going to use that throughout. I'm going to bring this down a little bit. And uh, I'm going to use that here. So, uh, one of the walls in the blueprint is 24 inches long. We got that one right here. And what is the actual length of that wall? Well, what we can do is we want to know. And so to answer that very question, I'm going to jump into that. If it's 24 inches long, then when I, I'm going to make a proportion. And we worked on proportions before. And if it's 24 inches long, you can see here, ooh, 24, what, times 6 is, uh, 4 times 6 is 24. So you just got to multiply three times six, and that would be uh, 18 feet. So here, we can see that this would be 18 feet. Okay, and that's how long this, this length here is actually 18 feet. So it's 24 inches in the drawing, but in real life, it's 18 feet. And to fill in the other parts here, we could say that... I'll erase this part right here. And we can keep keep going with this. If uh, if we don't want to know 24 inches, but we want to know 12 inches. Oh, well, 12, that's going to be half of 24. So half of 18 is, is 9. So that would be 9. And then uh, notice this goes up by 3 each time as this goes up by 4 each time. So 3, 6, 9, 12. Uh, 12 plus five, 3 is 15, and then 18. Yeah, there you go. Pretty easy. And in Pete's blueprint, the length of a side of the wall is 16 inches. Find the actual length. So we're going to use that same uh, ratio of 4, or the rate I get. 4 inches corresponds to 3 feet. And in this, they give me 16 inches. So uh, inches, as I wrote it, has to go on top. And that's being multiplied by 4. Oh, and actually, I have the answer right here. 16 inches is 12 feet. And because 3 times 4 is 12 feet. Okay, so that'd be 12 feet. Great. And uh, now, it looks like we're going the other direction with this, huh? Where we have uh, the back wall of the house is 33 feet. So the, the, in the, this one, they give me the blueprint length. And then I have to find the actual length. But here, they're giving me the actual length. They want to tell me, oh, how long is that in the blueprint? Well, I would use that same ratio, four, four inches is three feet. And then if I'm given 33 feet, how many inches? Well, whoops, that was a mistake. If, uh, you know, three times uh, 11, is 33, so I'd multiply 4 times 11, and that would be, uh, I'll do this in blue, 44 inches. So that should be 44 inches. And now this bottom one's asking, well, how do you know that your answer to this one is reasonable? Well, let's see. I think that it's reasonable. 44 inches sounds reasonable. Let's see. 
because if I look, the back wall is supposed to be 44 inches. Um, yeah, that looks like it's roughly double, right? If I were to just eyeball this, if I were to eyeball this, this looks about almost double the length of this right here. And this is 24, so double that is 48. But this is a little bit shy of 48, so that yeah, looks reasonable to me because I've, uh, you know, that's what I think anyway. So moving forward here, we have uh, scale drawings. Okay, a, a blueprint is a scale drawing. It's a proportion, you know, setting up a proportion. Remember, the proportion is two equal fractions. You know, having the four thirds equals x over 33, as I was solving for before, and x equals, what, 44, that's a proportion. You're solving a proportion. That's what scale drawings are. And then a scale, actually, uh, it tells you that ratio between two sets of measurements. So that four inches to 30, four inches is to three feet, that was the scale right there. And, and here's a couple other uh, ideas. Uh, so they have a colon for a scale or, uh, you know, one centimeter is colon. So one centimeter corresponds to one meter. So this might be the one centimeter in a drawing represents one meter in real life. That would be the scale. And we have an example here. The art class is planning to paint a mural on an outside wall. This figure is a scale drawing of the wall. What is the area of the actual wall? So they have the scale right here. What's the area of the wall? So of the actual wall, not this drawing. So what you got to do is you have to use um, the scale, which is two inches is three feet. And what we're doing is we're going to figure out the width and the length of this actual size of the actual size of the drawing. And then we're going to multiply the width and the length to get the area. So we'll say 11 inches. So 11 inches for the width. Let's see, so that's 11 inches, and we're trying to figure out how many inches go for the denominator. Well, let's see. Two, what, uh, 11 divided by two? 11 divided by two is, um, what, five and a half? 5.5? Yeah. So that means this is multiplied by 5.5. So I have to multiply 3 times 5.5. What's 5.5 times 3? It's 15. That's 15. That's 16. So that's 16.5 uh, feet. So that means this is 16.5 feet. Okay. Now, and that's the actual length in feet. So I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do it with the... Uh, the other measurement, what, the 28 inches, that's the long side. So how many feet is that? Well, uh, I'm given uh, 28 inches, and by the way, I'm getting that from this part right here, this, this 28 inches. And so how many feet is that? Well, what, that's times 14, 2 times 14 is 28. So 3 times 14 times 14. That is 42 feet. So this is going to be 42 feet. Okay. And by the way, that's what they're doing here too. We have right here, we have 16.5 feet. That's what they did right here. And they use this. They did it slightly different from me because they took the two thirds and divided it by two for some reason and called it one inches, one and a half feet. It's the same ratio, but I just did it slightly differently. And, but we still got 16.5 feet, and then we, have, we both have 42 feet, and that's the 42 feet right here. And so to get the area, you have to multiply length times width. So the 16.5, this 6, oops, this 16.5 right here times the 42 right there, 693 square feet. So they want us here to write the scale in example one as a unit rate. Uh, okay, so the scale, scale's given right here. They gave it to right two inches to three feet, uh, two inches to three feet as a unit rate. Well, you just do this. Uh, it'd be 
uh, two inches to three feet over one. That would be as a unit rate. Isn't that great? And the other one, right here. So what's the ratio? Ooh, what's the ratio of the area of the drawing to the actual area of the mural? So the area of the drawing was the 693. 609, oops, 93 was the actual area, square feet, right, versus square inches for the drawing. And the drawing would be the area of the drawing is whatever 11 times 28 is. Okay, so the area of the drawing, uh, 11 times 28, let's see, that's 300. Eight is it? I think it's 308. And so that would be it. That's the ratio of the area of the drawing to the actual area of the item. Okay, so your turn right here. The drawing plan for an art studio it, 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 um, shows a rectangle that is 13.2 inches by 6 inches. Uh, the scale drawing plan is three inches to five feet. Find the length and width of the actual studio. Find the area of the actual studio. Find the length and width of the actual studio. So we're going to use the scale of uh, three inches is five, oops, five feet. Okay, so let's go, let's go with this right here, 13.2 inches. So 13.2 inches is how many feet? Uh, well, I have to do this real quick. Uh, what, 13.2 divided by 3? Yeah, that's a 4, 12, 1, 12, 4.4. 4. Okay, so 4.4 4 is the length of one side. And then uh, 3 feet to 5 inches. Uh, I'm sorry. 3 inches to 5 feet. That's the scale. Taking a look at the scale again, and that's equal to what they, they now they say it's six inches for the other dimension, six inches. So that's double. So that's going to be ten feet. Okay. So we have what's the area? The actual area of the studio it would be four point four feet. Ah, four point four feet times ten feet. Well, that looks like it's going to be forty four square feet. That would be the total area. Okay. For this last item, we have a uh, drawing in different scales. So a scale drawing is a, uh, a scale drawing of a meeting hall is drawn on centimeter grid paper as shown. Okay, so it's over here. The scale is one centimeter is equal to three meters. So each of these one centimeter, one centimeter, it's three, 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 three meters in real life. Okay. So suppose you redraw the rectangle on centimeter grid paper using a scale of one centimeter to six centimeter. One centimeter is equal to six meters in the new scale. One centimeter represents, uh, well, one centimeter represents more. Uh, than one centimeter in the old scale because in the old scale it was three centimeters and now it's six centimeters. So one separate in the new scale it represents more. So the measurement of each side of the new drawing will be twice. Uh, the, the measurement of each side of the drawing will be half as long as the original because each square represents twice as much. So uh, see if we look here. What is represented here? This is uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times three, that represents 24 meters, okay? But if we want 24 meters on the new scale, it would just be one, two, three, four, right? Because that's each one is uh, six. 6, 12, 18, 24. So now we have the 24. And then this is supposed to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And uh, so that just needs to be 3, right? 1, 2, 3. And now on the new scale, this is the 1 centimeter 
is six meters, and this is the one centimeter is three meters. So that's two different scales. And uh, the, the, one, the, the one to six is smaller, because each one you go six centimeters for each square. And this one you only go three centimeters each square, or three meters each square. And this one goes six meters each square. And, oh, so it would be uh, half as long. Draw the rectangle. Already did. Okay, so we we'll reflect on this and find the actual length of the width using the hall in the original scale. Okay, I did that. Then find the actual length of the hall in the new scale. How do you know the answers are correct? Well, uh, the actual length in the, uh, in the original scale, I, uh, I know I'm correct because uh, both uh, actual lengths are equal. Yeah, they're both equal. Uh, and that's what I'm talking about here. This, this length represents 24 meters, and this length rep also represents 24 meters. And this one represents, um, what, 18? And this one represents 18 because it's 6, 12, 18 meters. And uh, explain how you know there's a proportional relationship between the first and second drawings. Uh, well, uh, uh, the, the relationship is uh, proportional. because they are drawn to scale. And scale is, by nature, proportional. All right. Well, that's all I got for this. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something.